walking outside for the final power of veto, we saw four different cubicles and a pool full of uh, what looked like some sort of gooey substance and a wall covered with a black curtain. Okay, it's time for the final veto competition. Let's play when the stars align. Okay, now we each have an identical series of clues in the shape of a star. To answer a clue, place the two corresponding house guest faces on each side of the clue. Now, even though some of the clues have more than one correct answer, there is only one way to arrange all of the faces in order to correctly complete the entire star puzzle. The faces are hidden in your individual goo pool. You may only bring one face to your star at a time. Now, once you think you have correctly completed your star puzzle, press your button. If nothing happens, you are incorrect and must change one or more of your answers. If you hear the victory bell, your star is aligned correctly and you have won the final golden power of veto. Oh. Going into this game, I just knew that I had to win it to secure my safety. I was really nervous just because the stakes were so high and um, I knew if I didn't win this, it would be the end for me. So the way the game works is you have to fish 10 faces of past house guests out of the goo pool, apply them to the 10 points of the star, and there's only one correct combination. The first thing that I saw was the week five um, HOH and Evicti. And right away I knew that was either Danielle or um, Kaser that could fit into that category. Kaser, I have to nominate you. So immediately I went and got Danielle's picture and I placed it in the correct position. Basically my thought was, let me get six or seven up there. I just wanted to get the pictures up on the board as fast as possible, as opposed to picking one picture at a time and then trying to figure out the information. My strategy was twofold. One, pull the pictures out as fast as I could and put them up there, rearrange them later. And two, I don't really care what happened. It doesn't matter to me who wins. I know I'm not leaving this week. My initial strategy when I started the, the veto competition was just to kind of start at the, at the easy clues and kind of work my way around to the harder clues. Who the hell is this? I pulled one of the faces out and I thought it was Jennifer Aniston. And when you pull up pictures of people who are on your season and you don't recognize them, that means you're not going to do very well at that competition. I didn't notice that I was missing a whole face, and so I kept running back and hitting my button, thinking I had the combinations correct, not even realizing that I still had a round face in the bottom of my pool. I was having a little bit trouble um, getting Diane Nicomas's, um stars aligned correctly. I knew I had like all my house guests in order and I kind of like just kept getting tripped up on the Comus Diane order and where that should be. When I heard who won, Janelle ran over and she kissed me on the lips. This was a huge win for me in this game. What it means is that I'm guaranteed to be in the final three because Janelle's going to keep me. I didn't have it moved over. It feels really frustrating to be so close and to not get it, not to win. Just, it kills me. Okay, for the third week in a row and the final veto winner, who could it be? Oh, it's Janelle! Congratulations! Thank you! Yet again. 
I, it was just such a relief to win it. I was so happy. This is a tremendous um, advancement to me because now I am securing myself in final three. Not only is this veto important because you can take yourself off the block, but you also have the sole vote to send someone home. Janelle is going to have to choose between me and Will, and now I'm going to have to try to appeal to Janelle's sense of logic. I know you're evicting me. What? I know you're evicting me. How do you know? I don't know. We can talk about it. Okay. You can't beat Will. I mean, if you want those two against you, I don't know. Do you think you can? I don't know. I think it's pretty much anyone's game. I don't know. I just don't know. Just know if you send Will to the jury house, they'll love you. <laughs> I know. It's up to you. It's your call. I'll never get past fourth place in this house. <laughs> The competition had just ended, and Erica was already like, "You know, you can't beat Will." You know, yeah. like it makes um, me feel a lot better, right, about this. I mean, I mean, it goes to show you, Erica's not. She's not sweet. She's not sweet. Exactly. Erica's grasping at straws. She knows that she's the odd person out in this foursome right now. This way, it's nice and easy. Janelle can kick her out. I can look like the supportive boyfriend. I haven't been eating a lot of desserts this summer, but uh, apparently, sometimes you can't have your cake and eat it too.